Hi everyone. So today I wanted to share my top five oils for pregnancy. Um, so firstly, just to say I am not a doctor, I'm not an aromatherapist, I'm somebody who's passionate about these oils. I've been working with them for three years. I'm a pregnancy yoga teacher and I'm also a doula, so I have had quite a lot of experience in using the oils, my own personal experience. Um, but just to say, if you are pregnant, we always recommend speaking to your medical practitioner um, and getting advice, especially if you've got a medical condition. It's always worth just checking in and also really trusting your intuition. So what I'm going to say is based on my experience. You may pick up this oil and smell it and it may not resonate with you. That's totally cool. So I'm just sharing my top five oils. There are lots more oils that you could use um, on this journey, but I just really wanted to share these five oils, five doTERRA oils. So firstly, um, when we're using essential oils, we we're more, pre we're more sensitive in pregnancy, so we want to dilute a little more heavily. So what I generally recommend to most of my pregnant mummers is that they buy some of these little rollers, you can see them, and they make dilutions that are safe for them. Um, and also, I'm going to quote a couple of books today so um one thing is in pregnancy you do find lots of conflicting information so i like this book modern essentials it also comes in an app form Sun's just coming in my window and in the back of this book it gives you this really handy like guide as to which oils you can use safely and which oils you shouldn't use and which oils that maybe you need to dilute a little bit more heavily Okay, so that's really handy. Also in the app, it also um, lets you know. And some of the oils, um, some of the blends you can use, but you just have to dilute them a little bit more heavily. So it's worth, you know, you doing your own research. doTERRA is all about empowering women, empowering mothers. So it's good for you to really, um, you know, check in with your intuition and look up the oil and see how you're feeling. It may be safe, but you may not be feeling it, okay? Um, I've also got a birth class, so if anybody wants this, Give me a shout and I can um, give you more information. Um, and I've also got some other books. Um, this lady, Stephanie Fritz, um, she's also on YouTube, The Essential Oil Midwife. She's definitely worth looking up because she's got some, some great little tips, some great little recipes that you can use. Okay, so I wanna go through these oils with you. Um, and four of these are in the Home Essentials kit as well. So the first one is lemon. Lemon is an amazing uplifting oil. Mm, so yummy, really nice. So you can either just smell it, aromatic use, just smell it from the bottle. And sometimes in pregnancy, if your smell is really sensitive, you might just want to open it and kind of keep it there. Often in my classes, that's what I recommend. Just kind of seeing, you know, how you feel about it. It may be that you want to, you're really loving this smell and you want to inhale more. So you may want to put a little drop on your hand and rub your hands together. And inhale, you know, lemon is a great oil to kind of cut through morning sickness if you're feeling a little bit nauseous. Um, it's also a good oil to use in the birth room. Sometimes, you know, we want to put some in the diffuser and when we're pregnant, we tend to use a lesser amount in the diffuser. So when we're not pregnant, maybe eight to 10 drops. When we're pregnant, maybe four to five drops and we don't have the diffuser on consistently. We'll put it on, let it do some work and then we'll turn it off, okay? So we can smell the oils we can also apply the oils on our feet so um, in pregnancy we always recommend dilution so it's one to two drops of oil in a carrier oil so I've got some almond oil here but you can use any natural oil the skin is the largest organ on the body so we want to make sure that what we're using um, is completely natural um, and so yeah so you dilute up either one to two drops in a teaspoon or you could make up a little roller and put 10 to 12 drops um, depending on the oil some require a heavier dilution and you can make up your own little dilution and this one is one that I use in mummy and baby so I tend to put a white sticker on so that I know that this is a baby dilution which is only like one to two drops in there um, so that that's kept separate from my other oils and I recommend that as well if you're making up dilutions for you keep them separate for baby and keep them separate for your partner who will be on the the full dilution which is about 25 drops of essential oil so lemon great for uplifting great if you're feeling a little bit low great if you need a little bit of stimulation it's like a happy oil for me it smells like sunshine so I absolutely love it and it's just good sometimes to 
you know, to have this, put it in the diffuser, it cleanses the air. So, you know, if you are doing like DIY when you're nesting and you're painting your house, then this is a great one to pop in the diffuser to really get rid of those toxins from the air. Um, it's a really good cleaning oil as well. It's one of the oils that we put in our cleaning spray. And it's worth noting actually that, you know, the toxins in our home really have an effect and they've been found in the umbilical cord. So they do go through to babies. So cleaning with essential oils is something that as, as mums, you know, you really want to investigate. So lemon is my first oil of choice, which I absolutely love. My second oil, so it's uplifting. My second oil is, um, let's stay with the uplifting theme, peppermint. So this is great if, you know, if you're, Having digestive issues, um, again, you would use probably a slightly lesser dilution of peppermint, probably about you know eight to 10 drops because it is quite strong. You could even mix it with your lemon, but it's quite a strong top note oil. So you want to put more lemon and just a few drops of peppermint, but it's a nice oil to stimulate you. Maybe you've given up coffee and you need a little wake up or you're feeling really tired. So you can make up a little roller of peppermint and lavender, put that on your hands and have a little smell in or put some on your temples if you're feeling really tired. Um, one drop of this is the equivalent of 28 drops of peppermint tea. So again, you know, if you're feeling nauseous, you can just smell it. Um, another little tip of this oil um, is, you know, if during birth you're getting a little bit tired or you're getting a little bit warm, hormonal changes mean that sometimes, you know, you're getting a little bit hot, then you can put a drop of this in some water with a cold flannel and just, you know, put it onto mum's back of her neck, on her head, avoiding her eyes, just to give her a little cool down or a little spritz, you know, just to cool her down. It's a really lovely oil for cooling and also um, for uplifting. It's an oil to be cautious of when ba baby comes. Um, we don't want to be using a lot of peppermint because it can interfere a little bit with breast milk production. So we don't want to be like smearing it all over ourselves. Um, but it's a great oil to diffuse and it's a great oil in that kind of lead up to birth and for that third trimester when maybe you're a little bit tired. Okay, um, so moving on to a grounding oil. Now this is a great one for birth partners balance oil. This is a combination of tree oils and chamomile oils. So it's Howard, spruce, frankincense, blue tansy, um, blue chamomile. So it's slightly blue in colour. And it's a beautiful, oh, I just love it. I don't know anybody that doesn't love this oil balance. So this oil just really helps you get out of your head and into your body, really connect to your breath which is something that throughout pregnancy, during birth, we really wanna be you know, focusing on, focusing on our breath, focusing on meditation, focusing on really being grounded um, for you and your partner. You know, It's great to have a little drop of this in your hand and to do a meditation together, You know, to really connect your hearts and your energy and feel grounded together. Um, so this is another one that I highly recommend. You, know, you can put it on your feet, you can diffuse it. It's really nice to diffuse with wild orange. Um, you can just breathe it in um, and it's just a, a beautiful, beautiful oil. And it's great for after baby comes as well, just to, you know, to help, help you ground. Okay, so my final two wonderful oils that I love, uh, lavender. So lavender is like the mum of essential oils. It's just so great for everything. Um, great for sleep, you know, sleep is something that can be an issue um, throughout pregnancy for some mamas. So this is a great oil. Again, you can make a little pillar spray, you can diffuse it in your room. You could, you know, put some in your body oil, um, massage it in your feet, get your partner to give you a nice ankle massage, a leg massage. Um, lemon is also really good for leg massage, especially if there's any edema, any swelling. Anyway, lavender. Lavender's great for burns, it's great for soothing. Um, there are lots of great recipes um, for baby as well that you can make with, with lavender. Lots of soothing, um, soothing balms for them if you want to use like all natural products with babies, obviously with a heavy, heavy dilution because their little skin is very delicate. But yeah, lavender's great for everything. For stress, you know, if you're feeling a bit nervous, you know, in this time where you know, there's often a lot of fear around pregnancy and around birth. So this is an oil that can really help you. And it's also the oil of communication. So, you know, sometimes everyone has a view about your birth, about your baby. So it's good to really feel heard. So this one you can apply on your, on your throat just to help you find your voice and speak your truth. Sometimes it's needed, especially when baby comes. With all good intentions and love, sometimes you just need to speak your truth. Um, so moving on to my final oil, frankincense. 
So this is a great oil. So lavender and frankincense are very soothing. Um, one thing that I often do during birth is use these two oils, put them in a roller, and then massage them on mum's lower back and apply some heat, so a hot water bottle. And of the five births that I've had, we've had really good results um, and it's really soothing and the oils really drive the heat in. So I definitely recommend a hot water bottle, a little bottle, if you don't know what that is, warm, and lavender and frankincense rollered on the lower spine. Um, these two are just amazing, amazing for mum, amazing for baby. Um, Frankincense is very grounding. Um, some people, you know, they anoint their babies when their babies are born. If that's your preference, then, then look into that with um, pure grade frankincense oil, um, diluted. And this is just a nice oil for you after the birth. You know, baby's been through a journey, you've been through a journey, a good oil to have massaged on your feet to balance your hormones with lavender. Um, it's a great oil for the skin, as is lavender, so you can make up a lovely serum and use it on your skin. If you've got any kind of itchy skin or really dry skin, you could use this in your body oil. Um, great for sleep, great for calming, great for birth partners, great for you. Um, and these two are like perfect, really great for baby as well. So in my little baby, baby blend, I've got one drop of lavender and one drop of frankincense. And we use this in my mummy and baby class to massage onto baby's feet. Um, and that's it really. So there are so many oils that you can use. And when we're using oils in the diffuser during pregnancy, we do want to use, you know, less oil, as I said, about four to five drops. You know, maybe have your, your diffuser on for an hour in a really well ventilated room and then turn it off. And even in the birthing room, you know, we don't want to overload. We don't want to overload the room with too many smells. Um, a little tip actually is to have some cotton pads in the birth room and then apply the oils onto the cotton pads so that they're not on mum's skin um, and so that she can, you know, she can smell them. For some mums, they love them and the oils really, really support them. For other mums, depending on what they're going through at that time, they don't necessarily want the smell of oil. So it's good just to offer, you know, if you feel like mum needs it, offer her the pad and then see how she feels. You know, if she's feeling like, mm, I need that, I need that, then great. But if she's not, then she can just throw it away and you can get it out of her face, which sometimes in birth, you know, the same with massage. Some mums love to be touched, other mums just don't want to be touched at all. So, so yeah, really listen to mum and use this uh, space to listen. Um, I am looking for someone to host a pregnancy class so I can go into a little bit more detail because there are so many other oils that I can talk about. Um, I'm coming to London in February, so, you know, if you're in the pregnancy community or if you're pregnant, then give me a shout. I've got a couple of slots available, so maybe we can hook up and you can smell my wonderful oils and I can give you a sample. And if you're in Ibiza and you want to host a class, then please hook me up. Um, I'd love to invite you to my pregnancy class, but I'd also um, love to come and share the oils with you. So uh, great to share with you today. Big love.